Hello everyone and welcome to my channel that is Rupinder's online classes and courses. और आज हम बहुत ही interesting topic discuss करने वाले हैं. Yes, that is from English grammar and the title of the topic is the sentence and its types. Yes, it's very important from grammatical point of view if you want to just strengthen your grammar grammatical base you want to learn grammar this video is very important though it seems very easy so without wasting any more time let's jump into the topic so first of all what is the sentence sentence hota kya hai a sentence is a group of words that make a complete sense so it is a group that makes a complete sense yes so what is the mistake here in the first very first line if we are talking of just one thing we are going to use s or es with the verb so here the s is needed s so a sentence is a group of words that makes a complete sense So in simple words an arrangement of words in proper order or sequence that conveys the complete meaning is a sentence to so, or sentence ko kaise hum simplified version mein learn kar sakte hain definition ko jaan sakte hain that is words ka aisa arrangement jiska koi meaning niklega that is called a sentence it begins with a capital letter koi bhi sentence ho wo hamesha hi first letter jo hai फर्स्ट वर्ड का फर्स्ट लेटर एक सेंटेंस में कैपिटल होता है एंड इट एंड्स विद अ फुल स्टॉप तो या एंड में फुल स्टॉप होएगा इधर अ क्वेश्चन मार्क और अ साइन ऑफ एक्सक्लमेशन तो एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन एक सेंटेंस फुल स्टॉप में खत्म होगा या एंड में क्वेश्चन मार्क लगा होगा और या एक्सक्लमेशन मार्क लगा होगा सो so, the sentence and some examples now i'm going to discuss some examples of the sentences and what are the main important parts of a sentence so look at the screen here cat i have oh this is just a group so that is why a cross has been put here this is just a group but it is not conveying any meaning ek वर्ड्स का ग्रुप है और इसका कोई मीनिंग नहीं निकल रहा नाउ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट लाइन आई हैव अ कैट डज इट मेक सम सेंस यस इट इज कन्वेइंग द मीनिंग कि मेरे पास एक कैट है एंड दिस इज अ सेंटेंस सो हैव अ लुक एट मोर एग्जांपल्स माय मदर लव्स मी हाउ आर यू हाउ ब्यूटीफुल इज शी मे गॉड ब्लेस यू so all these sentences are either ending in full stop like here full stop question mark sign of exclamation so every sentence and see look at here each and every letter of the first word is capital here m is capital h h m and i so this is something basic you have to keep in your mind and if you are writing some proper noun definitely that too will be capital but what kind of mistake i have made here all the letters all the letters of these sentences are capital the correct version why i have written it in order to give you the feel what is correct and what is incorrect so this is the correct version this one is the correct this first letter capital this one is correct first letter capital this is rather i is the subject here and a complete sentence if we are talking of these three sentences all the letters are capital so you can write no doubt but as far as the rules are concerned so first letter has to be capital let's move on to the next one yes now i'm going to tell you what are the different parts of a sentence so a sentence is divided into two major parts that is subject and the predicate subject and the predicate so if we have a sentence like india is my country india 
This plus shows that India is the subject and is my country is the predicate. India is the subject and is my country is the predicate. I hope definition of sentence and parts of sentence are clear now. So how many types of sentences are there? In total, there are four types. First is assertive sentence, the way you can see on your screen. It's quite visible, assertive sentences, which are also called declarative sentences or the statements. Number two is interrogative sentences, which are questions we both have. Number three is imperative sentences. And number four is exclamatory sentences. Now have a, a look at all these sentences and their definitions one by one. So beginning with assertive sentence. So kya hota hai assertive sentence? Assertive sentence ya declarative sentence ek aisa sentence hai jahan pe aap kuch declare karte ho, aap koi fact batate ho, aap kuch statement dete ho. It is it is a sentence that describes or states something. It has two types. So assertive sentence ko aage hum two types mein divide karte hain. Positive sentences and negative sentences. It too, like all the sentences, assertive sentence, capital letters se shuru ho ke, full stop mein hi khatam honge. Now there is something really important to know. What are positive sentences called otherwise? So the positive sentences are called affirmative sentences. Keep it in mind, the positive ones are also called affirmative sentences. Have a look at these examples, positive sentences. I am a doctor. We love India. I am learning. The sky is blue. The park was well maintained. These are the examples of positive sentences jahan pe aapne haan ki baat karni hai, aapne not nahi use karna. Next are the examples of negative sentences or in dono ko combine karke, ye dono sentences, positive ones and negative ones, they are the examples of assertive or declarative sentences. Negative sentences, he is not my friend. I am not telling a lie. He has not cheated anyone. So these are the negative sentences. And once again, I'm reminding you that positive plus negative sentences make assertive sentences. Next type, type number two of the sentence is interrogative sentences or a question. Is sentence mein kya hoga? Is sentence mein koi question poochha jayega? Jab hum koi question poochhte hai, we end that sentence with a question mark. It asks a question. It begins with a question word with the first letter in capital. And that is why I have put this C in capital in order to show capital means this one and ends with the question mark. So this is the question mark. Definitely, when you don't say anything, you don't say how are you question mark. Your tone should be of a question. How are you? How are you? Right. So let's have a look at the examples. What is your name? What is your name? Aapka naam kya hai? How are you? Aap kaise hai? Do you know him? Kya aap usse chante hai? Are you alright? Kya aap theek hai? May I come in? Kya mein andar aa sakti hu? So these are the examples of interrogative sentences and just be careful and pay attention. It has to begin with a question word, but it does not mean all the questions will begin with WH family word. So here we have what, then we have how, do, are, and may. So I have used these examples deliberately in order to give you a broader uh, perspective of the same. The next one, the third type of the sentence is imperative sentence. It is also called a command. Command means order. Request means plea or advice means suggestion. Ek aur cheez yahan pe advice ke spelling jo hai wo C hai aur ek aur advice hota hai jis mein S aata hai. Do you know the difference between the two? 
This advice is a noun and the advice with A D V I S E is a verb. Now just have a look at its definition. So it describes or shows a command, order, a plea, request, or an advice, suggestion. It begins with the first form of verb and ends with a full stop. So the important point to be keep in, to be kept in mind regarding imperative sentences is that such sentences generally begin with the first form of verb. For example, post this letter immediately. That's an order. Post it. Now, kindly remit my fine. That's a request. Please mera fine remit kar dijiye. Please help me. That's again a request. Or it can be help me please. Take your medicines on time. So that's a suggestion. Usually doctors say this. Ki apni dawai time pe lena. Or mamas say this. Let's go for a walk. Aye, ek walk pe chale. So that's a suggestion. Or you can say a number of things using these sentences. These are actually very easy to use. And I have uploaded two videos specifically on imperative sentences only. The links of those videos, rather all the videos are given in the description box. So if you want to further explore the channel, you can go through the description box and find out the links of those previously uploaded videos. One video is on positive imperative sentences and the other one is on negative imperative sentences. So for example, if you have to make it negative, what will you do? It simply has to be like, post this letter immediately. Do not post this letter immediately. Kindly remit my fine. Do not remit my fine. Please help me. Don't help me. That's it. It's so simple. So let's move on to the next type of the sentence that is exclamatory sentence. So here we have exclamatory sentence and what is an exclamatory sentence? It shows strong and sudden feelings of mind. It begins with a capital letter. Jaise sare hi aapke sentences shuru ho rahe And it ends with a sign of exclamation. This is the sign. This is the sign. This is the sign of exclamation. And this sentence ends with sign of exclamation. Now there is another important factor I want to discuss. There is one word that ends with this. Usually, this sign is seen at two places. Kai baar ek word ke baad exclamatory sign hota hai aur kai baar sentence ke baad. To agar sentence ke baad ye wala sign hai, it means we are talking of a sentence, exclamatory sentence. But if this sign is after a word, that word is interjection. And you can find the more details about interjection in a video in the playlist of English grammar under the title parts of speech and that's in part B of parts of speech interjection. So have a look at the examples of exclamatory sentence. We won. It's a baby or it's a boy. It's a girl. I'm free. That's amazing. How beautiful your dress is. What a brilliant idea it is. All these sentences are ending with an exclamatory mark and these sentences beginning with the capital letters ending in exclamatory mark. These are the examples of exclamatory sentence. I hope the types of sentences, definition of the sentence and parts of sentence are clear to you all. So with this, we have come to an end of today's video lecture. I hope you must have liked it and do post it in the comments if you want me to more, more, make more videos on the topics of your desire. Thank you for watching. I am there on these social media platforms. You can follow me. And if you have any query, if you like the video, do post it in the comments and do let me know. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're watching it for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. And the links of all the previous videos are there in the description box. Thank you. Stay safe, healthy and see you soon.